What's up, guys? Your boys are back. I'm Ryan, my man, George. Yeah, we're shaking, guys. How y'all living yeah. out there, man? Shout out to the free thinkers, of course. Shout out to everybody that's been following us on Instagram. Defta Radio, of course, is, is, is the Instagram. And DeftaRadio.com, our website. Make sure y'all follow us there. That's pretty much where we spend our time. That's where if you guys want to get requests on our radar, to where you need to go, join that. The information for both of those, of course, will be in the description. And as always, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Make sure it's set to all so you get all our videos as they drop. Up and coming artists, man, make sure you click the link in the description. We'll do about 60 seconds of your song in the front of one of our up and coming videos, get you some exposure. So if you're interested in that, you're up and coming artist, you need some exposure, check that out, man. All right, man, Meltdown, Travis Scott with Drake, man. You know, is this another sicko mode? kind of collaboration i don't know because that i know that shit. i constantly go back to that one i know that uh, the internet seems to be saying that this is a diss track to uh pharrell mm -hmm. and um and push a t well i don't I, i'm curious about the pharrell diss though i'm like i didn't know drake and pharrell had an issue so pharrell I, ain't even a rapper yeah i know pharrell, <laughs> pharrell over there like motherfucking he, like i don't know naked painting uh image <laughs> <laughs> naked painting <laughs> He do seem like the motherfucker that would be like, uh, be doing something crazy like that. Like, yeah. what the fuck are you doing, man? Exactly. Yeah, I thought Pharrell was doing, like, spiritual retreats and shit. I, I didn't know that he was, you know what I'm saying, that he would even have the type of energy to have static with someone. So, I don't know. Maybe he's, it's just by way of... You know, he's just getting guilty like, by association. Yeah, by association. <laughs> I'm wondering what's going on with that. So we go, we go look into the lyrics, man. I don't know if that's if people are reaching or if there's like so look. Cause sometimes when we do these uh, breakdowns, people say, "Oh, he was dissing this person." I'm like, I don't know if I heard a diss. Mm -hmm. I think y'all just trying to make it a diss. So we'll see if we we run into that when we do this. Let's just get into it, man. Yeah, y'all already know what it is. You know, y'all hit us up uh, on all of our platforms to get this one done. We had to do it. Off the new Utopia joint that dropped, give us uh, suggestions as well of, the, of uh, other songs you want us to do. Travis Scott, Drake, Meltdown. Yeah. Tensions is definitely rising. Yeah, okay. <laughs> teed up right now. <laughs> teed up. <laughs> teed up. Teed up. Teed up. Teed up. Teed up. Teed up. Tea time like I got a cup of this shit. Tea time like golf at a quarter to six. I love to fuck on a regular bitch. Famous hoes lame, but they stay on my dick. Heard your new joint, it's embarrassing shit. You talk to the cops on some therapy shit. Oh, this sound shit. like that DDG shit. This is that that new school, one of those new school. I think mm. it's about five new school flows over the last like 10 years or something like that. Like there's five flows that just, this is one of them. That DDG, I'm geeking shit. You know what I'm saying? That I've heard on the radio, man. Da 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 da. I'm gonna yeah. I'm 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 shut up now. I just thought I just that came to mind. I had to get that out. There. I think you're right though. I yeah. think you're right. Give, think... give us some feedback on if y'all think that you know it sounds like that. But that's that that choppy but slow mm -hmm. flow. But before you get back to it though, he said it's tea time. No, he saw attention. Tensions is definitely hot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. dude, it's ri rising. My bad. Te definitely rising. But it's, yeah. it, you know, it's yeah. tea time. I'm teeing motherfuckers up on this I'm shit. Teed up. I'm about to kill everybody on this. That's what it sounds like. He's like, oh, I got time today. Tea time, tea time, tea time, tea time. Tea time like I got a cup of this shit. Tea time like golf at a quarter to six. I love to fuck on a regular bitch. Famous hoes lame, but they stay on my dick. Heard your new joint, it's embarrassing you shit. You, you talk to the cops on some therapy shit. You act like you love this American shit. But really, the truth is you're scared of the six. Yeah, you're scared of the six. Yeah, you're scared of the six. Your bodyguard put in some work on the flute. Now you want to go and inherit the shit. Don't talk to the boy about comparison shit. Or come to the boy on some arrogant shit. The weapons we got are some terrorist shit. And TV producers, we... We airing the shit. She asking for bread for her parents and shit. I told her I don't got no cash. And she said she could wait on a rack on some Arabic shit. I pull out a million to stare at the shit. My dick just got hard cause a wire just hit. My schedule was out. Come spin us for real. Man, fuck all that spinning and narrative shit. I melt down the chains that I bought from your boss. Give a fuck about all of that heritage shit. Since V not around, the members done hung up the Louis. They not even wearing that shit. Don't come to the boy about repairing some shit. Don't come to the boy about sparing some shit. You lucky that vote. Was suing cause I would have been with the wasps in Paris and shit. Alright, man, let's get to it. He said you talk to the cops on some therapist shit. Me and Ryan was laughing at that line. You talk to the cops on some therapy. Like you just confide in them motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, let me tell you something else, actually. You know what I mean? While we're here. Yeah. Well, I didn't even ask about that. I'm gonna tell you what it is. Then he said you act like you love this American shit, but really the truth is you scared of the six. Okay, and there's still nothing that's really giving me push a T thus far. Mm -hmm. But somebody's scared to come to Toronto is what he's saying. It's like, right. you act like, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm just all about America. When really, you just, you know, if you could leave America, 
you know, without f- uh, fear of your life mm-hmm. and go to Toronto, you would, but you don't, you know, you're scared of the six. That's the real reason. And then he said, your bodyguard put in some work on a fluke. He's on, now you want to go and inherit the shit. <laughs> what is he talking about? I don't know who he's talking about. Yeah, what is he talking about? And who is he talking about? <laughs> that's a cold ass that's line, though. Line Especially if that's uh, if that's true. If let, maybe uh, one of whoever he's talking about, you know, their bodyguard got into a scuffle or something, or maybe I don't know, maybe even a shooting or whatever the case may be. But maybe it was on. It was accidental. You know what I mean? He kind of just lucked up on the shit not lucked up i'm saying like that's a, a, a <laughs> lucked <happy>. up. Exactly. <laughs> it's not a good thing it's not yeah. positive yeah. <laughs> unfortunately right 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 a, a, an unfortunate turn of events <laughs> just happened to put him in a position where it was just a fluke and now you whoever he's talking to wants to inherit it like all this shit like see i put credit. in work you know yeah. what i'm saying or oh, whatever the case with me <laughs> trying to take credit and shit yeah <laughs> don't talk to the boy about comparison shit or come <clears> to the boy on some egg and shit like TV producers, we we airing this shit. I like how we delivered that. I, I like the the whole theatrics in that. Mm-hmm. And then we airing this shit. You know, what I mean? obviously you air to you know te- television mm-hmm. producers air television shows, but we are airing this shit out. He said my schedule is out. He said spend with us for real. Fuck all that spinning the narrative and shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That was a hard. Fuck hard. all that spinning the narrative and shit. You want you know where I'm at? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My fucking tour dates, I, I'm, Dr- I'm Drake. You know it's not hard to find me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> My schedule is, is out and it's been out. It's going to stay out. So if you really want the smoke, come come on over. You know what I'm saying? Come see what it's about. That and was a hard ass That line, was a man. hard line. But Spending a narrative shit. What narrative? You out here talking like this and that and making it seem like it's something that is not. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So let's spin for real. Though. Since V not around, the members then hung up the Louis. They not even wearing that shit. Mm. So I think he's talking about Virgil. Virgil passing away. Uh, you know, he was the, the the chief creative officer, or whatever the case may be, for Louis Vuitton. And uh, he said, since he passed away, we hung that shit. We ain't even wearing that mm-hmm. shit. Don't come to the boy about repairing some shit. Don't come to the boy about sparing some shit. Mm-hmm. You lucky that Vogue was suing, because I would have been with the Wassas in Paris and shit. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So that right there is a little... Maybe that's a nugget right there that, that's kind of giving yeah. indication that it's towards Pusha T because, you know, Pusha T was in Paris. He was on the walkway dissing Jim Jones and shit in Paris. <laughs> that that Jim crazy. Jones shit is crazy, though. That was funny. I think I saw a picture with, with Drake and um, wearing Pharrell's chain. So maybe when he, when he says, your boss, mm-hmm. he's talking about Pharrell um, in that, you know what I'm saying? I melt down the chains, fuck all that shit. And he said that Vogue was suing as well. You know, Drake and 21 Savage had that issue with Vogue where they were, uh, they were rolling out the Her Lost album and Vogue was... Essentially, going to sue them for, for using their likeness or using yeah. their, their brand or whatever the case may be. So he said, You lucky that they were suing because you know, Vogue is in Paris, obviously, they're stationed there because we would have been there. So I don't know, maybe Pusha T. It does seem like there's indication there, you know, I mean, maybe there's maybe. something else in here that, yeah. I'm, that I'm missing, you know, because we're not always up on every detail of every rap beef. You know, what I'm saying the only connection I can see that where I'm like, Okay, yeah, I'm thinking that might be towards Pusha is A. I feel like Drake, until he gets his get back, is always going to be Pusha T. <laughs> like, I feel like he always going to get these little shots. So there's always the, the default Pusha T, but that Paris line is really what makes me think, yeah, maybe. Could be. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, solid verse. I like the menacing feel yeah. of it. And yes, I do think he had that DDG flow. D, first of all, the DDG isn't the first person to have that flow. That flow's been around for quite some time. But Drake always drakes it, though. You know what I'm saying? He always just adds his own flow, the whisper aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was hard. So he still swagged it out. And the beat is cool too. Not bad. Come to the boy about repairing some shit. Don't come to the boy about sparing some shit. You lucky that Vogue was suing because I would have been with the Wassers in Paris and shit. Is you fucking crazy? Is you fucking crazy? And they scared of the seven. After one three, then we turn up eleven. Keep the shit open like seven eleven. We at the house, I got seven in heaven. They think I'm satanic, I keep me a rebel. Let's show to your therapist. Papa and Sid, she ushered my way, then she started confessing. I know it's at stake, I'm screaming free Jeffy. Connect, collect calls right off of the celly. Gave her the blues, not talking about belly. Don't keep it sincere, I go Machiavelli. I got the juice, now nah, it's heavy. Always on tea time, been ready. Yeah. Is you Crazy. Is you f- Let's go. Wrap around me cause I'm got property Chocolate AP and chocolate the V's Got the Willy Wonka factory Burn that athlete like his calories Find another flame out of me Bitch, bitch Yeah, 
Is you fucking crazy? Yeah, is you fucking crazy? What? Is you fucking crazy? No, is no, you fucking God, crazy? Right is you fucking crazy? Yeah. Is you fuck? Is you is you fucking crazy? I'm in the Texas boys and ran it up a couple, maybe couple swinging in the pickup truck. The baby fuck Mercedes. I fuck a nigga bitch, but she can't have a baby. I shoot your ass at Walmart like I'm a baby. The boy going light on Messi, I go Tom Brady. Used to wear the bus down back in my old days. Now I let the chains and you gotta tuck yours, maybe. Niggas talking Scarface, I'm not in real life. Is you fucking crazy? Is you fucking crazy? Man, the club ain't been the same since we lost Mercedes. Man, the click ain't been the same since they lost the greatest. We outside with the army, so you need to. Them boys rolling all brown like they whipping gravy. Make a circus outside like it's Barnes Bailey. Vicky hanging on my side, it's like it's really hanging. She move her panties to the side, she want it raw and faded. Huh? Huh? Is you fucking crazy? Is you fucking crazy? couple lines in there though mm-hmm. he had a couple lines a lot of noise in his shit though it's just a lot of noise i understand you know that's kind of what you get <laughs> get with travis scott in terms of just because you know, always look forward to just how his shit's gonna sound mm-hmm. you know what what sort of chances is, is he gonna take with just just sonically and shit in that beginning of the verse before the beat change was a lot of just windows crashing and him doing the whole echo vibe with his voice and there's a lot going on gave her the blues not talking about belly then he said, uh, don't keep it sincere. I go Machiavelli. I got the juice. Now it's heavy. Mm-hmm. So a little, you know, like the little references that he's making. So I gave it a blues. I ain't talking belly. I made it sad. I gave it a blues. Um, belly was shot in blue. If you know, mm-hmm. the movie Belly was shot in blue. He said, don't keep it sincere. You know what I'm saying? So sincere was mm-hmm. uh, the character in belly. Nas's mm-hmm. character in belly, right? I go Machiavelli. I got the juice. Now it's heavy. I go Machiavelli. I'm assuming I, I just get on some some cold blooded shit like mm-hmm. Tupac, you know, Tupac played Machiavelli, but he also starred in the movie Juice, right? Mm-hmm. So it's, the, it's this little Tupac slash mm-hmm. Juice reference slash Belly Nas, yep. you know, reference in there. I thought that that was okay, man. Shout out to him or his ghostwriter. I don't know if, if yeah. he got assistance because I heard <laughs> I heard he gets assistance. So shout out to both the motherfuckers, mm-hmm. but that was all right. And you said I shoot motherfuckers in Walmart like the baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I don't know. Is, this, is it crazy like that? He said... Uh, people talking Scarface and shit. I, I'm that in real life. So I like Drake's uh, verse in the first part. Not a fan of the beat per se, but I love the beat in the second part. Not really a fan of what uh, Travis Scott had to say lyrically, but um, I, I, historically though, I mean, I really don't listen to Travis Scott for that. It's more uh, of the production and how, you know, the atmosphere and how he just approaches the songs. That's that's what I really like from him. So. I like. I, I think the song is is passable because I really yeah. like a lot of things about That's it. It's a good word. You know what I'm saying? It's a good word. So, uh, but I'm gonna give it another shot. I'm gonna give it another shot because uh, I don't want to just write it off just yet. So, um, we'll see. We'll see if it makes the playlist. But uh, but I think this was was cool. Eh. That's where I'm at right now. Eh, you know, I'm not I'm not mad at it. There are some elements. I like the way Drake was rapping. Let me just put it there. I like the menacing energy. I liked, uh, I actually did like the flow. I like how he rocked the beat. I did like it. And I feel like that's going to be what I see a lot of young kids just, he's just rapping the shit. Like, you know, I can see them on the block, like, and we sparing this shit, airing this shit. I can see y'all motherfuckers rapping it. So I, in terms of like, just the catchiness of how he was flowing on the beat. I thought, um, yeah, I like the second beat more. And that's my thing about beat changes in general. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, over the years, it, beat changes have grown on me, but I'm still like, Oftentimes, I'm left wishing they would have just stayed with one or the other. And on top of that, the way they uh, blend um, one beat to the next isn't always, to me, it always it's almost sounds like two different songs oftentimes. Mm-hmm. This one wasn't bad, though. I, th- I thought they did a good job with transitioning the beat. Travis Scott usually usually transitions the beat very well. I just was like, ah, I would have rather heard the second beat the whole song, but that's just me. Maybe it'll grow on me, perhaps. We'll see. I'm going to give it another spin. But uh, I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. Like Drake's energy. Let's see if Pusha T is going to have a response, though. You know what I'm saying? And let's see if Drake is a little bit more prepared for what Pusha T has. You know, because that motherfucker's got all... He's got... You know, he's got researchers and detectives on the team now to unearth some shit again. <laughs> yeah, shout out to everybody that requested that one, man. Give us more uh, more joints off the album, man. You know what I mean? I'm hearing, uh, I guess, Hyena, the first song you guys wanted us to do. They got a, uh, He's got a song with Beyonce on the album. I don't know if y'all want us to touch that. Let us know kind of what other songs... Uh, y'all want us to touch. And make sure y'all follow us uh, on DefterRadio.com. I'm George. That's Ryan. Lost to Vegas. We, we out. out.